Hi everybody, this is Tasha Harge, owner of Harge Connections LLC. For those of you who are not familiar with my background or who I am, I am a small business tax specialist, consultant, and coach to over 200 clients across the United States. All right, on IG, you can also find me here at smart underscore tax underscore tips underscore for biz. So today I just wanted to do a really quick video on teaching you a little bit about business tax write-offs. All right, so let's just jump into what is a business tax write-off. A business tax write-off, also known as a business tax deduction, is a legitimate business expense that you can deduct from your business revenue. So basically, that's as clear as day. Obviously, whatever you, you earn for the year, you're going to be subtracting out all of your business tax expenses. Those are going to be your write-offs and your deductions, okay? To qualify, the expense must be ordinary and necessary for you to run your business, sell your products, and or offer your services to customers and clients. So let's just take some industry-specific um, types of, you know, entrepreneurs. Let's just think maybe of a hairstylist for a minute. We all know that hairstylists use multiple products and you know, tools, etc., to do our hair. When I say tools, I'm referring to blow dryers, flat irons, brushes, combs, things of that nature. Obviously, they're also using other products, shampoos, conditioners, sprays, all types of stuff. So those expenses are ordinary and necessary for him or her to service their customers, okay? So that's an example of ordinary and necessary expenses. Um, we can also think of another industry specific, maybe a photographer, which I have a few photographer clients and boy, oh boy, they're always telling me how expensive it is to run their photography business with lighting, backgrounds, you know, uh, camera equipment, lenses, but just naming some of what they can deduct. Okay. Those are more ordinary and necessary expenses. Remember that every small business is different, so learn your industry and learn what can be written off and what can't be written off. And I say that because you have people out here who give a lot of misinformation and I hear, you know, people come to me all the time, oh, my friend who has this business told me they deduct that, they deduct this. And don't get me wrong, you can deduct a lot when you're a business owner, etc., an entrepreneur. But you do have to be careful with what you're labeling as, quote unquote, a business expense. Okay, so what may apply to one industry may not apply to your industry. So you definitely want to learn your industry and learn what can be written off and what can't be written off. Okay, and I did tell you this would be a very short video. I'm keeping it under five minutes. But just to say, okay, who can claim business write-offs? Well, all of these types right here, corporations, LLCs, sole proprietorships, partnerships, freelancers, independent contractors, home-based business owners, side hustlers, okay, you name it. All of these types of entrepreneurs and small business owners can all write off business expenses or claim business write-offs. Okay, so feel free to inbox me with questions or if you want me to yeah answer some of your questions just inbox me because I'm going to be putting out a lot of content and I'm more than happy to answer your questions publicly because other people may have similar questions okay take care until the next video